Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So your girl is getting ready to run out. I gotta get my nails done. So every time I come on here, I gotta get my nails done. But I gotta get my nails done today and then I'm gonna hit up America's Thrift Store while I'm out. And hopefully I'll be able to record enough content to be able to upload a video today. Um, I got my mini with me, so I'm a, I'm a little bit excited. I'm dragging her out in these streets, if you could see. They got a piece of mini, y'all. So we're gonna get this day started. And yeah, hopefully we find something good today, girl. Hey y'all, okay, so the first store that I went into was America's Thrift Store, and I saw these really cute purple and black plaid heels. They were $7, I didn't get them, but I did see these heels, and girl, I contemplated for a minute on grabbing these, only because I wasn't sure if I was gonna wear these more than once or twice. So the cost per wear, I mean, $5. I probably should have got them, girl, but I ended up leaving them in the store, and then I saw uh, these red heels. They kind of drew my eye straight to them. But girl, when I pulled them off the shelf, that was a no. Number one, it's just really not my style. But number two, for $15, girl, no, I wasn't going to spend the $15 on them. So I had to put them back. But I did see these Public Desire black heels. And I love them because the heel is not too high and they strap up. Just my vibe, girl. So I did grab those. But I did see these camo cargo like sweats tights type of pants and i really like these for four dollars simply because you know they're not my traditional baggy kind of uh camo pants but they'll be a little bit more fitted around the leg so i definitely grabbed those but i did see these camos which were your traditional camos but the thing that i do like about these of course is the neon green that's kind of sprinkled through them definitely a bomb play or twist on your regular camos and these were six dollars well 5.69 so I grabbed them and y'all already know that cargos are a vibe so I did grab these cargo um this cargo vest situation I styled it on my Instagram so follow me over there and I saw these really cute um capri pants and I love the printing pattern I mean for five dollars I didn't get them because I'm not a capri girl so I did end up leaving those in the store and I saw these boohoo striped pants I do like them um I thought it'd be great for work um as a play up pattern but I did end up leaving them um, but I did grab this skirt and I like this skirt because of the two-tone of the denim on this little mini skirt. So I thought she was really, really cute. So I did end up grabbing her and I put my hands on this little skirt because I love the pattern in it. But I did end up leaving it because I think at the time that skirt is just probably going to be a little too small. It didn't have much stretch. So I left it. But I saw this really cute hoodie um, dress with the split. It's a pretty little thing dress and I kind of thought I'd be able to do something with it. But I think it was a size small or size two and I figured it, it wasn't gonna stretch so I had to leave it but girl I put my hands on these Ivy Diffusion tees girl love them I love the color I love the print I love the fact that they have the shoulder pads so they definitely give structure now while that one was for something why was this one 229 they need to make it make sense same tee same uh company side by side two different prices I can't I put my hands on this blazer and I did put it in my cart but girl when I tried her on for the five dollars she just was she was too short i needed her to be just a little bit longer or if you're gonna be cropped just be cropped but it just didn't have the right fit so i had to leave it in the store but then i went to another thrift store on my way to my parents this weekend i saw this bomb top i ended up grabbing it and i love this blazer i love the tonal tone with the black pinstripe going through it sorry for the change of color in the background girl but you get it she was really cute so i did grab it now this one i was i was on the fence about it because it, it it had a bit much going on but i like that it's different so it's got these different grays and patterns and i love the sleeves so i did end up grabbing that blazer and then i saw this really cute chartreuse kind of cropped blazer type situation now she does have some imperfections on her you can see um like the little dots or whatever in the fabric now that doesn't bother me personally but i probably wouldn't resell it um without you know of course letting folks know the deal with it but um i did see this blazer it's very much giving me chanelica girl so i ended up grabbing it i love the color i love the pattern i love the vibe of it the structure the shape definitely was a must have and then y'all know i'm gonna find all the printed pants so i searched for all the printed pants textures love these animal print snake skin print pants definitely could do the vibe most with these and then i love the fact that they had pockets on the back so that was completely up your girl's alley so i grabbed that and then i saw this really cute top i think it'll be nice in the um spring in the summertime it's just a little sheer top i love the shoulders nice for work nice with a pair of jeans and this was my little rack that i grabbed and i liked all of this together so i could kind of make all of this work you know as some looks together so that was bomb and then i went to another center of hope thrift store um in my area and i saw this bomb blazer this was the first um 
blazer that stood out to me, of course, with the colors and the pattern. It was $6. Your girl tried it on. I love it. Even if it rolled up, this would be good, um, perfect with a graphic tee underneath, a basic bottom. Love that blazer, so I did grab it. And then I saw this dress, and at first I was a little bit unsure about it. But then as I thought about it, I said, okay, it's unique. I like the thicker stripe mixed with the, the smaller stripe. I love the green. It was $6. She still had the tag on her. She was a size large. So I was like, you know what, Tanya? Just make it do what it do. Just go on and grab it. It's different. So... We'll see what I do with her. And then the next item that I grabbed was, of course, this animal print, leopard print top. She was really cute. Um, I definitely could do a style hack with her for $3.50. I could tie her up. I can do a couple different things. Um, so I really liked her. So I did end up grabbing that. Now, I'm a, I'm a mixed print pattern girl, but... She was definitely giving it for me. Now, I saw this top here, and this top is from Sheen. Um, I didn't get this top, this little peplum situation. Now, I do like the color, $4.50, though I kind of thought it was a little bit much, but you know. I don't know. That could just be me being cheap down to the thrift store, but girl, I didn't get it. I ended up leaving her in the store, and then I saw these camo pants. Um, I ended up grabbing this pair, and I have some others that I grabbed that were just like this, but I love the brown. I love the tone of these. Um, these are definitely a size small, so... For six dollars with a waist from a 27 to a 31, I definitely grabbed those. The same for these traditional camo pants. I never leave the camos in the store, so catch your girl on live. I'm probably going live on Tuesday over on my Instagram. So if you're interested in grabbing anything, girl, meet me down to my live on Instagram where I let all the stuff ride, girl. So they had two of those. So I grabbed this other pair. I think these also were a small. Um, don't know why this one was eight dollars and the other one was six. Child girl, these thrift stores be killing me, but I guess they process stuff on different days. I don't know, girl. Um, Soldier Forbes ended up grabbing you, child, because you was a medium, and I'm not gonna leave no camo jackets. Like I told y'all, I buy all the camo. I'm your neighborhood camo dealer. So you girl, put your hands on that. And then I saw these graphic tees. This one was really cute. I love the colors. Um, and I noticed that this one wasn't like, I guess, uniquely vintage because I did see this same t-shirt in another Center of Hope thrift store. So it was, and it was a couple of them in there. So, I, but I did grab it though for $4.50. And then I love this tee. I like big bucks and I cannot lie. It would go with those light colored, toned camo pants she would be definitely a really cute look even with some chocolate um so i wasn't gonna leave this one this one was three dollars and fifty cents it was a size large so i grabbed her and then i also grabbed this graphic tee and i love it i love the savage on it i love the tiger or cheetah leopard girl you get it with the lightning bolts i snatched her up and then i was out of there and girl i went to another girl center of hope thrift stores now the area where my parents live these are kind of like the main chain of thrift stores in the area. So I ran up in there, child girl. What was this boat shit? Girl, the thrift stores just be having anything in them, child. But I always try to take an um, opportunity to walk through kind of like the furniture section just to kind of see what's in the store. You know, you never know. You might run up on that one unique piece or, you know, that one unique sculpture. Um, and But overall, this store, you know, was relatively clean. So, girl, I went on ahead and ran my little self to the bathroom. Girl, I did a little, you know, a little mirror check, girl. And I don't normally get dressed up for the thrift store simply because I like to try stuff on. So, I like to be in tight, something fitted. That way, you know, if I need to put a piece on, I can. Girl, you know, my cart is already going to have the camels in it. Girl, I was already around the store shopping before I went around the other day, furniture section. And, girl, when I went around the corner, I saw this um really cute little nightstand table. And I thought about getting it because she's got, like, the, you know what I'm saying? You can see the, like, wicker bottom with the glass top and I started to get it but child girl they wanted like $60 I don't know I just can't in the thrift store and then I saw these I guess mid-century style cane chairs again they just tap into my vintage love but I didn't end up getting those either but let's just get into the pieces that I put my hands on so the first piece I put my hands on girl was this blazer I love the mint color I love the details in this like diamond silver metallic print Girl, I tried it on. It does have one little spot on it that I don't like, but girl, I figure all that out. Then I saw this camo jacket. Y'all already know I'm going to get the camo jacket. So this was the one that I saw in the store. I definitely grabbed it because you know your girl is going to buy all the camos. Like, Just like I said, y'all know I'm the neighborhood camo dealer, so I'm definitely going to buy that. And then I saw this bomber jacket. Um, I like the print and pattern on it. It took me a minute to kind of get my mind wrapped around it. I think it was like $5, but I think what really drew me to it was actually the... Um, the pattern on the back of it and then when i tried it on i definitely like the fit and feel of it so i definitely grabbed this bomber coat and then i saw this really cute blazer with this pink and black houndstooth and i like the black detail of the trim around it 
So I grabbed this blazer just simply because she was definitely a vibe. And then I put my hands on this blazer and I was going to get it. Number one, $7. I was like, uh, she probably ain't worth that. But then I did like the green and white polka dot on the collar. But once I tried her on, sis, mm -mm, she wasn't giving. So I did end up um leaving this blazer in the store and then i saw this camo um camo child girl this sequin i saw the sequin top and i love the blue and the green and the sequin top um definitely child when you thrift and buy all the sequin i typically don't ever leave the sequin unless it's just drastically missing pieces but girl i did put my hands on this piece i really love it girl think about this with some uh, mom jeans rip mom jeans definitely a cute vibe and then i put my hands on this Hounds tooth blazer and i really like this blazer simple because it was oversized i don't have an oversized hounds tooth blazer but i did grab it because i did like the fit on her and then i saw this um army jacket girl it was very much giving me janet jackson control girl but i did put my hands on it and i like the fit and the texture on it it was nine dollars grabbed it just simply because it still had the tags on it so yeah, she was really a cute moment. And then I saw this sweater and I really liked this sweater. But the thing about this sweater was those those bows down the center, girl. I couldn't, I like the structure of the top and around it and on the back of it, but the bows, when I put the thing on in the store, girl, it just the bows was sending me. So I had to leave it. And then the last two pieces that I grabbed were these like, I don't want to call them like suede, but for, I was girl suede velvet girl skirts. And these were $4 and I already have a pair of these and I've done videos on my Instagram. But yeah, girl, I grabbed these two skirts and your girl was in and out of the thrift store. So stay tuned to my Instagram for more videos and hauls.